Hello and welcome to Learn Data. It's great to have you on this channel. I'm Nilesh and in this video we'll continue learning about unsupervised learning methods and we'll talk about density estimation. Uh, specifically look at overview of uh, histograms and kernel density estimation. So you've probably seen uh, these plots, uh, the histograms, the one we have on the left, uh, it looks like we have two peaks right here and then for the same data we can plot the histograms which looks something like uh, it's on the right hand side so just by changing the number of bins or shifting the bins we can uh, the appearance of the plot changes and that could sometimes be confusing and so there are other ways to plot uh, density estimation histograms uh, such as shown here uh, so scikit-learn offers Top, kernel, top hat kernel density, so which is shown here on the left hand side, where each data point, uh, each block is centered on the data point where it appears on the x axis. And on the right hand side, we have the Gaussian kernel density plot. And this is overlay of, uh, of the three plots that we have, where we have the kernel density, uh, sorry, the Gaussian density in the dark blue color. We have the top hat in the light blue and the Epanet Eco on in the orange color. And the plus signs below the plot indicates the uh, location where the data points fall on the x-axis. So overall there are these types of kernels that we can use to estimate the density using scikit-learn methods. We have the Gaussian kernel, which is given by this relation, top hat kernel, then Epanet-Nikov kernel, and then we have the exponential, linear, and cosine kernels that are shown here. And finally, in the code snippet, uh, we have the standard method of implementing the kernel density so we can specify kernel density and in bracket we can specify what kernel we would like to use so here i'm specifying gaussian kernel so we fit the data to x and then get the scores that we can then go ahead and plot so that was it for this video this was a fairly short video uh in the next video would be the last video in unsupervised learning methods so see you in that video until then please like share and subscribe thank you